According to an article by University Primetime, hookups or casual sex partners are most common in ages 18 to 24. College students report that by their senior year, 72% have had at least one hookup, with averages of nearly 10 hookups for men and just over 7 hookups for women. 18% meet their hookups at bars, and 11% meet on social networking sites like Tinder. Although Tinder's website makes it seem like a matchmaker, many students at LSU don't view it that way. Seeing people on an app, you can kind of like frame it to be whoever you want or show what pictures you like the most of yourself. So I don't really know how trustworthy it is. Really easy, I guess, you just get it on your phone and like everyone's now into like texting instead of talking on the phone and like, like talking on the internet. You don't really have to meet in person. So I guess like it's easier to just do it from your phone instead of like going up to someone and being like, hi, my name is. If you're going to meet someone, you're going to do it. If you really want to form an actual relationship with someone, you're going to have to meet them in person. Kristen Cummins of the Student Health Center says that whether you are meeting someone online or at the bars, it's always important to be cautious when bringing someone into your home. Obvious dangers might be assault, um, sexual assault in some cases, um, you know, any kind of criminal activity, I think you could end up being robbed. I mean, you know, I think there's many ways that if somebody isn't healthy that they could abuse or manipulate somebody based on that. Um, so I think it's risky. For Tiger TV, I'm Courtney Allen.